Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you can see from the title, it is another crochet hair install video and the hair as you also saw from the title is the Free Tress Joyful Curl Hair. Now this is what the hair looks like. I actually have two packs. I only have two packs of this hair. But it is, as you can see from the package, a three times pack. So that's equivalent almost to six packs of hair. Now I purchased this hair from Amazon as per usual. I originally only purchased one because I wanted to make sure the color was looking good. Like I wanted to make sure the color was looking good. I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't, but I got a T30. And sometimes with most brands, their 30s or T's, their everything looks totally different. But I really like the color of this T30. So I bought the second pack and said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and install it. This hair came off of recommendation from you guys. My hair, as per usual, braided down. My mother did this yesterday. It is as normal. How many braids did she do? Let's count. Oh, she only did seven braids. She been trying to get me out of here lately. You guys been noticing the last thing? I think it was like six braids. This is seven. She not doing her normal 10 braids. She is trying to, what is she trying to send a message to me about? But it does feel like it's only seven braids. But without further ado, I hope this is a quick install. Got the hair, got my music ready to be blasting. Let's just get into this crochet install of this Free Tress Joyful Curl Hair. Again, this is what the Free Trash Joyful Curl looks like outside of the pack. I have it in the color T30, and it is 20 inches as stated on the pack. Of course, this is a better view of the seven braids that I have that are all going straight back, coalescing into that little bun in the back, as always. All I do to install the hair is push the crochet needle through my braid, attach a sliver of the hair to that needle, pull both the needle and the hair through enough that a loop can be created, and then I pull the hair through two times. So for this hair, I am double knotting the hair. I do not rinse my hair with apple cider vinegar. As you're saying, I'm pulling it straight from the pack in the individual slivers that they come in. So I'm not splitting for this part. I'm installing as is, again, pushing the needle through my braid, attaching the hair, making a loop, and then double knotting this hair. <laughs> When I get to the front of my hair, meaning about an inch and a half to two inches from my forehead, I start invisible knotting the hair, which for me means splitting the hair in half. So the hair comes as is. I split the hair in half. It was a really easy split. And then I push the needle through my braid again, but this time, instead of bringing two strands through, so double knotting, I only bring one strand through. That helps in making the knot smaller and quote unquote invisible, although sometimes you can still see the knots, but it makes it a little bit more streamlined than in the back if I were to double knot the hair. Double knotting the hair creates a thicker knot, which I'm fine with in the back because can't really see it but in the front you want a natural looking hairline so splitting the hair one makes your hair kind of I not want to say thinner but it's not all the volume in the back and our front of our hair typically has a little less volume than the back of our hair and two it makes it so that the knot is super small for that invisible knot <laughs>
So this is it. This is the finished look. I'm going to lean in so you guys can see. I want to turn around to the back as well, as you can see. I tried to cut like a bit, but not a lot because I don't want to change the 20 inches. It is 20 inches and it's a long 20 inches. I'm going to, of course, wait and see how I feel about cutting it. But out of the one week thoughts, you guys will see kind of how I've cut it up a bit. But right now I'm keeping it in its raw format so you guys can see. I used every single drop of those two packs and I could even have used maybe one additional sliver. Not a whole additional pack but one additional sliver because I do think there's some flatness in the back. I think I've masked it well but I think there's like some areas that I could have and even in my parting space I could have used like a little bit more. So I don't want to tell people buy three packs of it but I'm also like I could have used like just one extra sliver. I ordered it for Amazon so it's not like I could run out to store to get it. I've been in stores. I haven't seen the Joyful Curl as often as I've seen the standard deep twist, the beach curl, the water waves, those types. I don't see this as much in store, so I don't know if I could have gotten it. But it does have a distinct feel to me. And I wanted to call out the fact that you guys can see it says natural volume. And I think they have a line of the natural volume, like with, I think they have joyful curl, they have soulful curl. They have like a line of what they call the natural volume type, where it's a little bit different. It feels quite a bit different than the deep twist and the beach curl do it feels more on the if that's on the i don't know how to say it thinner or not as a rigid side this kind of teeter totters toward the the rigid kind of still soft it's not like rigid as in like the ringlet one i always determine that as rigid it's not like that it's still soft but it's definitely not the same texture as that beach curl go go curl deep twist so they call out i guess their natural volume means something unique to this brand as you can see that t30 color or t30 just one t they do have a couple of other color variations a 1, 1B, 2, 4, T27, T30, and then T530. And again, if I lean back, you still aren't getting the full, okay, set all the way back, and you still aren't getting the fullness of this 20 inches. It was a quick and easy install. I'd say it took me less than really an hour 30 with this hair it's still pre-noon here so I can still see the rest of my day after this I started maybe a little bit after 10 and we're pre-noon and I'm filming and I tried a new element today where I had a different camera angle going in at the same time this is new for me so I don't know if it showed up well but that added a bit of time but I still again finished pre-noon so with my mom's worry down where she did it pretty fast we watched Keisha Cole had a movie debut on Lifetime last Last night when I was at her house we watched a bit and I think we had just gotten to the part where it transitioned from the young actor playing Keisha Cole to actual Keisha Cole playing Keisha Cole so it really wasn't that long at all I mean 45 minutes max so very quick braid down very quick install of this hair it's not going to take you all day which we love about crochet hair over here on this channel but again this is my first day impression this is how I feel about this hair one day in I don't leave you hanging I don't just install hair on this channel no 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 no. I come back with my one week thoughts I come back with my final thoughts I do all of that in my review video so if you're subscribed to my channel you won't miss that review you'll be alerted also if you have that notification bell on you'll know as soon as I post it because right now me doesn't know any additional details than I know right now but that future me will know everything and give you the whole tea also keep up with me on instagram at leelavon89 to see my shenanigans in real time tiktok at leelavon which is a bit more real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye